This video is for anyone who likes retro computers, particularly those who grew up in the late 80s or the early 90s and either owned or maybe even remembers using one of these uh, pre-computer learning toys at school or maybe had one at home. Uh, and if you didn't and you weren't from the late 80s or early 90s, then stick around. It might surprise you to find out that uh, coding from a young age is not a new idea. So let's have a look at this VTEC uh, pre-computer, this one being the power pad. Um, it was one of a series of kind of pre-computer or learning toys that VTEC released throughout the 80s, 90s and noughties, uh, initially kind of licensing them and then they became more and more successful. This one being released in 1994. I'll put the, uh, the, the computer to one side and we'll have a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, pre-computer power pad complete with 35 activities and a four line screen. And it gives you a variety of different things. Word games, maths, trivia, and games are your main are your main headings, of which these are some of the activities that were inside. As it says there, you've got um, the four line screen, a uh, thousand trivia questions, 80,000 word spell check, and it, it takes some cartridges as, as you'll see as well. When we uh, have a look around the back. So what you have is this, Essentially, the whole concept was it was introducing people to computers at an earlier age before they got a, f a fully fledged PC. Well, actually, this one is powered by a uh, Z80 CPU, so it actually has some good computing power in there. And as I mentioned, uh, we'll, we'll ha have a look at the, uh, the coding functionality l later on. So again, it's telling us about these activities, telling us about the screen, showing us a close-up here of the options. Then, as you can see, you've got a full-stroke alphanumeric keyboard and a look and feel of a real computer and the additional expansion cartridges. This one here is um, Famous Things and Places, Fantasy Trivia, General Knowledge, super science and then there was a memory expander so that's the box there in addition to the box this one also has some nice paperwork with it we've got the it's called the course book but what it basically has is uh, it's an instruction uh, guide introduction power source and the, the activities and games which we'll go through but it can although it isn't particularly obvious when you reverse it the other way this is a reference section uh, mainly used for things such as uh, the basic coding that we'll come on to later on. Um, there is also the, although it's not going to be uh, any use now, we've got the VTEC production warranty, one year. Uh, and you could also win a free set of uh, 20 volumes of the Children's Britannica. And then there's a, a, a small thing here which talks about um, basically turning the thing off and on again if it doesn't work. And then a really nice manual which shows all those different age ranges so as i mentioned earlier it was it was designed to kind of progress you through learning on computers so all the way up through here and then when you open it all up so six months to nine years and up if we open this lovely manual out i'm sure this kind of brings back some memories as well we can see everything from uh, those bits in in the middle the workshop coming across to so that cd-rom stuff preschool electronic learning over here to infant electronic toys and then over to electronic games and then we flip it round we can see our uh, electronic learning aids here so all the all the, the the different series of which this one is over here it's the within the pre-computers section and this one is described as being uh, for children who want a real computer a serious computer a sophisticated t technologically advanced modern laptop design and for parents who want to support their child's learning with the content of the national curriculum apparently and then it gives you all the all the stuff there and the fact that you have the the extra add-ons and you can see there's some of the ones in there the pre-computer -compu notebook 2 the pre-computer prestige uh, the graduate and a thermal printer to go with it and then over there a tv interface looks like a, a combination of kind of learning and, and and crafting and drawing we'll push all that to one side and we'll have a look at the uh, the pre-computer so fairly small seems maybe 30 40 centimeters uh, long maybe 20 centimeters wide uh, it's not it's not overly heavy it's chunky it's durable uh, so what we can see vtech pre-computer power pad flipping it over 
we see that it can take uh, six volts uh, either through batteries or, or, or nine volts through an adapter and it says uh, nine volts 300 milliamps i have a plug i've tested it it's not the original plug it puts um, it, it does nine volts and 400 milliamps but it works absolutely fine and this is where you put your four AA batteries which i'll be using in addition to that we have this carrying handle that you can wiggle out this is where we put the dc power in we have the uh, the card port just here on the side and that's about it to open it up you have a catch a locking latch on uh, on, on the left and the right and that, that then opens it up i'll just turn it off now um and so what you can see here these are these are just written parts that are duplicated and what you see down here then they're, they're not touch screen so you're not you're not touching here to, to go on word scrabble you're not touching along here um what you're doing is you're using these keys down here so to turn it on you can see if I turn it on. so they're 1994 hi please select a uh, an activity and one thing up on here is there's a contrast setting and you, oh, it did, you can see it change ever so slightly in the light do you see but it, it doesn't seem to react um, all the time so maybe maybe there's some kind of light sensor behind there but I definitely just saw that that change so what I thought I would do is get this in a position where we can see a little better and I can't I'm not going to exhaust I'm not going to exhaustively do everything but I thought we'd pick maybe two or three here two or one or two here one one or two here and one or two here and of course i'll cover the basic coding as well that i've mentioned um so we'll have a look into the manual and we'll start off around the word game section so we'll open this Instru introduction we don't really need all the power source the keyboard is kind of quite a, as you're gonna quite a clicky um old school type keyboard and we'll go to the activities and games section so the first section is word games of which you have all of those ones there, I'll, I'll, not, I'll not read them all out. You can hopefully make them out. Uh, and so I think, first of all, we'll do a letter search. Insert the missing letter to complete the word. So you select whichever game you want. So this one here. And as you can see, even when it brings in the title, it's kind of giving away what, uh, what you need to do. So level one what is the missing letter and as we can see here the first word is missing a t so we just type the t and enter and there's over here you can see there's level player and cartridge so i would imagine that's uh, so afraid that's potentially where you can you can make it uh, harder so that's the first one let's have another look at another one so there's a variety on here i think um Oh, mystery word is is a little bit like uh, like hangman, so maybe we can give that one a go. So mystery word. So guess the word. Yeah, it's a little a little bit like hangman. So let's start with the vowels. So I've got an I in there. No one got any ideas that's watching. Uh, oh. Let's try. So, swim. Sorry, I don't know why it keeps going out of focus. Uh, so, that would be, you know, it, it's like a hangman, and I guess you keep going. So, we'll move over to here. Um, letter flip, I think I'd look at earlier, was was an interesting concept where you have two words and you're you're moving the words between the two flip two letters to make a pair of words correct so as you can see here uh, we've got to move something so it's not going to be um belt w is it it's going to be ah so yes of course it's going to be south this is for what nine-year-olds i know i'm not the brightest the tool in the toolbox but so i should be i think I either push up or down or maybe i hit enter south and below there you go so that's that game there. So that's a couple. So we've seen what three three different ones there. So we'll move over to mathematics. Not my strong point. And um, so you have all the standard stuff: add, subtract, multiply, multiply divide, etc. And then there's two slightly unusual things here: the story problems and the sign uh, seeker. And I'm telling you, this story problems when I had a quick look earlier is is really quite difficult. But there is there is a health. I think there's a health button. Like look at that. 
if you're if you're watching this now this is the national curriculum in 1994 and it's asking you what is that number and without reference i i really i, I couldn't tell you um you're welcome to have a guess in the comments and and if you get it right you get you get a thumbs up but um i think i'm going to try and use the help button on here which i know works on some of the other on some of the other games Right, so see there, look, it, if you'd have written it down, it's giving you three options and then you choose. So this is just going to be a wild guess now. Let's go for the one in the middle. Uh-oh, last chance. Uh, well, we know it wasn't that one. I think the letters were different. I don't I don't think you can even go back. So I think the letters were different. No, nope, they weren't. So the last ones must have been the same. So the correct answer is that one there. Um, the elephant's mass. I mean, look at that. What is, is that many grams? Oh, right. So we're just going to, uh, there's what, um, is it 100 or 1,000 grams in a kilogram? It's 1,000, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be 4, 4, 3. And then it would be 0.2, wouldn't it? But Okay. And then sign seeker, that was, that was a bit more fun. So um, it's going to bring up. The, the the question and then it scrolls across but again like quickly doing i'm terrible at math so we're looking at what is that uh, 35 so yeah it's th this is 35 and this is 35 so as it's going along it's asking you if it's greater than or equal and then you hit enter when the sign you want's above it so i think they're equal so i hit it there and it, it drops it down i think this is like level one uh, 14, 15, 105, 6. Uh, I, think, I think that's equal again, just off very quick, off the top of my head. Yep. So let's move on to the trivia now. Um, there's a what am I? Uh, general geography, English, and science. I quite like science, so I'll go and do that one. First man to go into space twice. Oh. Uh, well, we always think about like Eureka Garin and as being the first one, and then um, obviously um, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Gus something. So again, I'm going to need the help. Well, it wasn't Gus Gagarin because it's Yuri. Gus Grissom doesn't sound right. Let's try Gus Cooper. Gus Grissom? What's the longest lunar mission? Oof. I mean, what are you supposed to be typing in here? Like days, months, years? It hardly gives you any idea. And then it's going to be like days, isn't it? So like, if you were to go like this, 45 days, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have a chance. You don't, you don't know what it's asking you. So I'm going to go help again. Oh, right. So, I don't. Is it going to be Apollo Eleven? Because of all the, the like the delays and stuff. Or would a later one? I'm going to go fifteen because I reckon maybe that one was like after eleven, they thought they would do some more exploration. So it was Apollo fifteen. Okay. Oh, space shuttle. All right, here we go. And hey, so. So that's the trivia. We'll move on to games now. Uh, there's calculator, spell checker, basic, number flash, and alpha puzzle. Um, I couldn't work. I had, again, I had a quick look at alpha puzzle earlier, and it's about basically just moving the alphabet around. So you use left, right. So you kind of move them along, and you can move up and down. So here, this would move the A upwards. But then I'm not sure how you... How you get the A to move? Oh, there you go. So basically, you, you uh, arrange the alphabet, uh, but it's quite tricky working out what you do. And then finally, we'll move on to basic. So I'm going to come back here into the manual because it gives us a, a little bit more information about, about basic. Now, some of you wa watching um, will really be into computing and stuff. So here, chapter five, basic. Uh, are computers important? So it talks about that. What are computers? Um, so a bit of an in intro there, and then it talks about what is BASIC. A computer language stands for beginner, all-purpose, sim symbolic uh, instruction code. 
developed at Dartmouth College in the 1960s. It talks about how there's different languages uh, and how there's different, um, d depending on, um, on, 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 on on which kind of computer you're using, there's, there's variances. It talks about what a program is. And then what it then, why should, why should I use? Uh, why should I learn to use a computer? The future belongs to the people who understand how to use computers. I mean, how more, how relevant is that, especially in this day and age? Getting started, it then it then shows you how to to type some stuff in. So if I go ten, print. Oh, so if I go back, PR print space. I need to shift. Hi there. And I do remember at primary school doing a lesson where we would type this kind of stuff in and it would print something out, but it, it is a, dis, a, a distant memory. Uh, this is the usual way to write a program. Type it in and press the enter key. Uh, each line starts with a number and is followed by a statement. It stores the line. Later you execute the program by typing the command run. Don't forget to press enter. So if we type run now, in theory, I'm guessing with the thermal printer. Oh, so it says hi there. So it's not. I, I'm guessing that that. I'm guessing that would print out as well. That was as as much as I have ever done. Um, so I can now do hi there in basic programming. So at that point, let's turn that off there. See you later. And that brings us to the end of the video. That was a, a review of the VTech pre-computer power pad, uh, which we had a look at the box, we had a look through the manual, and we also went uh, through a number of the functions on the power pad itself. It's one of a series of uh, learning computers from six months to nine or so years. This one being the latter stage designed to learn through word games or trivia. And in this one, particular interest was the ability to learn how to program computers using BASIC. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, please stay tuned and see what uh, YouTube uh, recommends up here that I've already made. You might enjoy it. And until the next one, all the best, take care and see ya.